All right, guys, we're going into Whirlwind now to continue the cheese down in the top left side, the blue Protoss player. This is the Madman from Taiwan, it's Haas. And his opponent in the bottom right, they've got cross map Whirlwind, so this is going to be a big one. This is Bly. Now, Whirlwind, a uh, great map from, I don't think this was in Wings of Liberty, um, Heart of the Swarm. I believe this was, was initially brought in in Heart of the Swarm. They brought it back in the Dream Pool and Legacy of the Void. Don't know what changes were made to it, but you can see there's a natural third and fourth base options. And there is, of course, a kind of crucible. Uh, I guess, you know, I call it a crucible. It's it's the the different pathways all leading into this one watchtower in the middle. Because there was that Warcraft 3 map called Crucible. I don't actually know what a crucible is. Other than it's like a thing you go through, it's like an ordeal or whatever. But is it actually like a physical thing or a shape? I don't even know. Anyways, point being, there's a watchtower in the middle, and it's the same all four corners, right? So you get one, two, three, four bases per corner. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there should be eight bases per player, technically, um, that each each one can get. Nice pylon block on the natural does force Bly to go take his third a little bit later than he wanted to, but not the end of the world. And did Haas scout cross map? He did, didn't he? Yeah. I don't know why that scouting pathway looks kind of funny. It's like a... The vision. <laughs> so he's going to block that. Two Zergans will come out and Bly will be able to reestablish control in just a moment. Zealot on the way for Haas. Going to help him defend against those early Zerglings. This is a bit of a... Oh, he messed up his, his pylon, I think. Or his wall off. So he's like, oh, this is actually a really hard base to wall off. So he's... Put an extra pile on there just to help reinforce things and you'll need to put another big structure or two so yeah this is a pretty big ramp we don't have too many big ramps these days training wheels on most of the maps these days not as many of these uh crazy little situations you got to deal with let's see if haas messes up at all i don't think he will it's only two zerglings so quick third hatch for bly this time around as a queen moves over to the third base he's going to be just moving into a very macro centric position haas We'll be choosing his tech structure in the near future. So he's got one Adept, one Zealot. Cleans up the other Zergling as well. Nexus is spotted. Oh, Haas actually lets him in. Wait, where's his tech? I guess both his pylons are at the front, so his tech has to go down here. Haas thinking about taking a corner base, and Bly sees it. Haas is like, damn it! I really wanted a corner base, bro. He's like, all right, I'm going top right. We're going to go take the top right base now. <laughs> ah. He's thinking about it, man. Okay, we've got a sentry there, we've got three gates, we've got a whole bunch of info about what a crucible is, apparently it's something in smelting metal. Guys, he really wants a corner base, I'm not even kidding you. Oh, this is so sick, because if he takes that, he can then wall this off with like two gateways and a cannon. And it's going to be hard for, for Bly to deal with. The adepts want to just get out of there at this point, they're like, okay, you've built plenty of zergings, we don't really need to do anything else here. You've already built plenty of defense, and link speed will kick in shortly. So Bly is going to actually build a lot more Zerglings. Oh, that's interesting. This wall off. Oh my lord, what a wall off. Oof. Ooh. And look at how late his Twilight is. I mean, Haas is obviously just thinking about the corner base right now, which is super sick. There's a Depths here hanging out. Oh, look, he's hiding the behind a tree. Look at this man. There, there is also some hedges there, a bit of a sight blocker. So clever little position as that corner Nexus will go down momentarily. Zerglings coming across. Oh, he sees him. He sees him, and he's going to be able to shade into the mineral line, which, funnily enough, is a safer place than out here on the map right now. Oh, the queen. Queen, go. Defend your babies. Oh, that's a lot of Zerglings, you know. That's a lot of Zerglings. He builds a nexus in the corner. Has I think this base is going to be defended just by hoping your opponent doesn't scout it more than anything else. He's going to go blink and a forge. Well, I took a bit of damage there. Bly's already built way too many Zerglings, I think, to not be doing a surprise attack with. And... Yeah, I do feel he's already a little behind in the economy. you got to remember that, yeah, Hash is cheesy, but the biggest part of his cheese is how hard he holds the probe key down in the early game while not building any defense, right? And doing a bit, just a bit of light pressure with some adepts. That's actually the scariest part is because his, his cheesy attacks are going to hit you six, seven minutes a lot of the time. But if you let yourself fall behind in the workers, that can get very difficult to deal with. Ooh. Oh, the Adepts are going to come on in. One drone, two drone, three and four. Uh-oh. 
Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, Adepts there are going to take a fair bit of damage. But the drone. Oh, the drone slaughter. This is just too much. He finds the corner base. Oh, he's loading up an elevator. But guys, he needs to do more than just a little bit of damage with that elevator. These Adepts are slaughtering him. Bly, he's suffering the way Pig loses to Protoss players. He's losing to a couple of Adepts. And another, another pair of Adepts. Zellialo, are you enjoying your, your gift of adepts? Do you like shuriken to the face, you, you little dickhead? Bly's like, dude, do you like zerglings in your main base? Do you remember heavy rain? Do you remember that, huh? He gets in, he's going to do a bit of damage, but not that much. He's not able to micro those because he's busy at home. And those, dude, just so many drones have gone down. 10 workers, a ton of mining time. And it's already a three base Protoss with a base that is impossible to assault up this ramp in the corner. So a very clever use of the map here from Haas, who seems to remember the map very well. Zerglings will chase down the Adepts in the corner. But once again, another good shade. Roach and Zergling going to slowly clean those up. Zergling's in the natural. Going to grab just one or two probes before they are all cleaned up. I'd love to see him just keep picking up eight Zerglings and queuing them there over the rest of this game. Bly, a little behind in this situation right now. He's got Roach Speed, which is a fantastic upgrade. He's got the Evo Chamber, but he's trailing in the work account, and he's up against a Haas who wants to make plus two attack. He chronos his Forge, but it looks like he didn't have the money when he pressed the upgrade. There we go. Plus two is on the way. So I think what we're worried about as Bly fans is what happens when plus two and then plus three Blink Stalkers are fighting equal numbers of Roaches, because Bly's economy sucks. He's got very little creep spread, which is going to make it very hard to kind of defend. He's going to try and ravage a break this base. There's a sentry and a battery. Hass is like, you're not breaking in here for free, mate. You're not breaking in here for free. And oh my God, he's just so frustrating. And look at that. He's like, oh, oh, a present. Thank you, Bly. Thank you very much for your present. Did you want to did you think you were going to kill a corner base? And Bly's got to be frustrated. He unloads another eight Zergings. The pylon sees it. The Stalkers are there. And they're going to defend this man. This is actually Bly looking for damage. And Haas is just stopping it. Haas is able to sit back and defend. And this is the advantage that Haas has had in the last few years, being so dominant in his region. He has learned how to sit back and defend when it behooves him. And right now it does exactly that. Behooves? Behoofs? I, me speak words that I not know how speak. English good. Tunneling Claws, Barrow plus one range on the way. Still very little creep. One Tumor there, one Tumor there. Fourth base is coming up. He's got 64 workers. Bly floating a fair bit of money right now, though, and the Stalkers are starting to coagulate in the middle of the map. You can see them all kind of just funneling down into this center watchtower. And Roach is no match for him. I do like that there's a Roach squad on the left side. That's very useful. I don't think it got spotted. These roaches are going to run to the right. He could try to burrow those. And yeah, I, I <laughs> does start to burrow move off to the right side. He could try to pop up there. These guys are going to try to burrow into the natural. Haas is full walled though. He was expecting something like this. Bly loves these counterattacks. The roaches are going to try and bust their way in. He's going to walk on into that natural. He starts to just burrow again. He says, open the hole, open the floodgates. Oh, Haas tries to pile on, uh, wall him. He can't quite do it. He doesn't have the numbers. These stalkers are getting overwhelmed, man. Meanwhile, in the bottom right corner, we can or top right corner, we can see that Hass's base is getting attacked. So many probes. Hass is just going to shove. Hass is going to shove here and try to break. There's no ravages. These force fields are very good, but there's also no detection. So he gets to just heal and, and get his way right out of there. Those roaches pulling back. These roaches starting to breach. Bly with the tunneling claws is actually looking to tie up this entire series. Dude, this is actually insane. The roaches there in the main base are going to go ham. They're going to go for the probes right now. And oh, he snipes the third and blinks out. Haas, well done. These roaches could do big damage, but there's a cannon there. Roaches in the main. I've killed so many probes. He's going to kill a few stalkers as well before he's done here. And he's going to just now focus on these last couple of units, trying to run these roaches around. Roaches on the front, clear those buildings. The building wall is gone. Back to seven gateways is Haas. Plus two range on the way for Bly, who's already rebuilding his third and his fourth hatch, trying to bounce back. Economically, Haas is ahead on mining, simply because he has three mineral lines available. He should transfer those workers, though. Roach is in the main. Roach is in the corner. Are there any observers out? One observer coming out from that main base. This overseer there has popped his eyeball out of the top of his head. That's right. He's got an eyeball with extra eyeballs on top of the eyeball. Welcome to Abatha's insane designs here in maximum pervert mode, trying to have a little bit of a looky look. Uh, we've got plus two range on the way there. Infestation pits on the way in the back of the main. 
third and fourth. His creep's not great. He's still only on Master Roach Ravager. And I think he's going to go Infestors, guys. I think I think seeing that he's up against just Blink Stalkers, Bly's like, look, if I can get, like, I've got money. If I get, like, six Infestors, maybe I can just fungal. Hold the Stalkers in place and overwhelm them that way. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. It's looking like it's going to be incredibly close to see how it goes. The Changeling's there. Having a little bit of trouble. Okay. Roach is coming on forward. Oh, the Stalkers trying to pull to the right side. The Roaches are hunting them down. The Roach is hunting them down. You've got to be careful, though. The Observer's there. All the Stalkers are coming from the right side of the map. You don't want to go in too deep here as Bly. Or you want to go in really deep and really fast. But this SimCity making it hard. He gets a few Stalkers. He will be able to take that cannon out. The rest of the Stalkers are almost here. But he's taken a good fight so far. This seems like it's a good trade for Bly. I think it's I think it's good enough. You know, he's going to split some roaches into that natural. There's an observer there. Split some into the main. There's only one observer. Which way do you go as Haas? He's going to send the observer to the right. Some stalkers in the main will hang on there. The roaches in the natural will go down. More roaches in the top right getting caught. Has he got infestors yet? No, he's just made 60. Oh, he's done an... Oh, he's built a North America of Ravagers, guys. For those who don't know... Uh, Ravages are the biggest unit in the game, and you make a gigantic continent if you make that many Ravages. You also make one of the most short-term compositions in the game that is most beloved by Zerg players on the NA ladder. It is called an NA of Ravages, um, and it's when you get above 12 Ravages. That's an NA. He's at 18 <laughs> Ravages. It's ridiculous. Um, they're really, really overpriced units. They cost three supply, 100 minerals, 100 gas. They don't do that much damage, but the corrosive bile, their range, their mobility means they're okay. It's just a short-term comp. He wants to trade. He wants to overwhelm with it. And he's going to add Banelings and Bane Speed behind this. The Roach Tunneling Claws, though, has just been absolutely devastating. Um, Dark, of course, the one player in the world besides North Americans who does like to build an NA of Ravages in recent months. War Prism! Dude, more corrosive bile than you've ever seen in your life, dude. Yauchi, yauchi, yauchi. I think it's actually, isn't it? Oh man, isn't isn't appendicitis? Isn't your appendix a thing that synthesizes bile? I'll tell you what. I think Bly, he must he must be born with like 17 appendixes because the amount of bile that he is vomiting onto Hass's army is literally out of this world. It is obscene. It is disgusting. The stalkers are trading pretty darn efficiently, but the moment that they kind of exhaust their blinks and get pushed back, things do get a little bit, a little bit dicey. And I think Bly, he's just got too many units right now, but his economy is not great. That being said, Hass's economy is shite. He's on 34 probes. His corner base, which looked so promising earlier on in this game. I mean, Tunneling Claws was so good at abusing a Haas that was spread in disparate corners of the map, unable to bring his forces together to bear. The Tunneling Claw Roaches have just done so well, and Bly's movement on this map has been fantastic. And I know a lot of pros don't like playing four-player maps, but you watch a game like this and tell me this isn't bloody awesome to watch. I, I love watching these four-player maps because there's so much space, so much movement, but you've also got these very defensible corner areas where the bases are actually really easy to defend, but they're very far away. Um, and it creates an interesting dynamic. More roaches being kind of flooded out the right side. How do you ever engage with this army when he floods that much bile on your face, dude? Ooh. Okay, Stalker's going to start taking some damage as well. Uh, oh, man. Okay, he's going to try and have Zerglings there on the left, Roaches on the right. He's finally building those Infestors we talked about like like six minutes ago. Um, If Hasmax is out on Blink Stalkers, he can still win this game. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, he doesn't have charge. They're slow Zealots. They're not the best. There's, there's melee upgrade for the Zerglings, which will help. Oh, there's a bit of a fight. Bit of an AFK battle. No, boy! Boy, he wasn't watching. He was watching his Zerglings. Oh, my God. He just lost, like, half of his army, guys. His Zerglings are doing even more economic damage in the main. But he's got to pull back, and he needs to buy time. He's building 18 more Roaches. Roaches and Ravages are really trash supply. Hass is building great supply. Guys, Hass has done it. Hass has done it. Look at the top left. Look at the army value. Oh, but it's equal. He's up 50 supply. He's not up 50 army supply. It's all worker supply. And he's got units that are really bad. Unless he lands great bile fungal combos, unless he gets banelings up in the center of mass, he's going to have so much trouble. Hass's army is just more valuable. It's not better upgraded this time, but it is essentially an army that scales quite well. Fungal bile. 
fungal bile. That's the combo that Bly was looking for. And he says, sorry, what was that about? Better quality army? The Infester, the bloody game changer, the force multiplier of this Ravager Baneling composition says, I do not give a shit. By the way, my roaches have cleared out the top right, the lings, the main on the left. You're out of economy. The Infestors win the fight. I thought Haas was just going to win with mass Blink Stalker, and it's still kind of dicey because that's so many Blink Stalkers, but now you've got 57 drone economy. There's no reinforce for this. Yeah, you're out of fungal, but do you really need it? Even the drones are being pulled. The Krabby Boys tanking up front and center. The Roaches and the Ravagers should be able to deplete this army. Haas almost making it work, but Bly, the Appendix Man... He has 14 appendices, mass-producing bile, and he is vomiting on his opponent's face. He ties up the series, five to five. Woo exciting, very exciting. So the players have agreed, guys, to do a best of 13. Right now, it is tied up five maps apiece. The first one to seven will seal the deal and take the victory. Up here in the top right-hand side, we're back on normal maps. It is Haas. Glittering Ashes in the bottom left of Glittering Ashes, aka Stripper Booty. It is Bly on fire. Ah, uh, so Dot is right next to me right now, guys. That's who we're we've been talking to. We've got a few people going, hey, who's that? Dot is helping me uh, produce the show uh, during this event. So it's kind of cool to have her hanging out here. And especially when we've got player cams during the actual uh, big tournament, the Pigsty Festival main event. Um, she's been managing all of that, which has been a lot of fun. Bly, guys, is doing a hatch block. Now, it's a macro hatch block, guys. He's going to go three hatch before a pool. This is his first hatchery. His second hatchery goes here, and then he goes gas and pool. Now, some players will drop a forge and try to cannon you. Their names are Hass. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Their name is Cannon Hassan. <laughs> his name was Cannon Hassan. He will always cannon rush. Does Bly know that? Because I know that. I know Bly will cannon rush you. If you do this to him, he will build a cannon defensively if, if you let the hatch finish or you get it close to, and he will cannon rush you at the same time. And uh, let's see how Bly handles it. Because honestly, it's very scary. He sends a drone to attack the probe. He's not even sending it to attack the probe. He's like, no, no, no. I know he is the worst spot on this map. We just found out where the best wall off spot is, guys. It's right there, apparently. <laughs> but he's got another one there. One, yeah, it's a four pylon wall off over here, though. Bly's just got to hang there, but he could just cancel that pylon and wall down here. He's going to he's gonna go for this wall off. Yeah, he's changing angle. He's changing angle. Bly, a little too slow to react. Oh, that's such a good area. Bly got too focused on the right side. Now, it's going to force a pylon, but remember, Haas can cancel that, build a pylon here. Cancel that, build a pylon here. Cancel that, build a pylon here. And then still... Oh, look at that. Cancel pylon? I'm surprised he didn't cancel that pylon. Haas there... Playing. I guess he didn't have money to replace it straight away, so he just wanted to make sure. Roach Warren going down. Bly will break out. Now, Haas can't... Oh, he, he wants to build a Stargate again, right? Haas is getting a second gas. His cannon at home, plus the Zealot, plus the probe. He's going to clear the hatchery. A few Zerglings will come out. And look at that. He built four at once. So they're going to pop out and surround him. Oh, and he does some fancy micro. Bly there. Oh, look at that. Okay, two Zerglings for a Zealot. A great trade. And now he's got two Zerglings in the main being a nuisance. But... He's going to build a Stargate here. Blop, 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 blop. Zergling's in the main, going to fight the probes. So it's going to be Roaches trying to break down. This is going to be Abyssal Reef all over again. Haas bringing out his dirty tricks, his dirty games. Um, oh my god. Okay, the Zerglings are here. We've got three Roaches on the way. Zerglings get cleaned up. Hatchery's going to go down. Oh, they're offensive Roaches! And he's building a Stargate on the other side of the map. Oh, shit's hitting the fan. He's already got a second queen, which means he'll be ready for the first Void Rate. A Void Rate beats a queen. Two queens, though, obviously beat it very handily. Oh, he's going to just take the cannon down, guys. He kills his own hatchery. He kills his own hatchery. He says, unleash the bevies. The broodlings pop out of his own hatchery and kill the cannon. And if he can kill that pylon, he knows there's no there's no unit production. He's got another lava there, but he's supply block. He's building an overlord at home. He's going to try and take down the adepts. There is a battery in the main, and he's going to have to... Oh, he just chrono boosted the Void Ray, which means that Void Ray can't be recalled. He's got no energy. I mean, he, uh, maybe he'll have enough energy, actually. He has enough energy about 25, uh, 35 seconds. Ravager's morphing. Ooh. Oh, he kills that Ravager just barely before it finishes morphing. Very nice. That's really good. Because two Ravagers cannot one-shot a probe. 
So with the help of this uh, battery, that's actually really big. He gets a probe with the bile. A third roach coming in. Void Ray's up. Void Ray's up. He's got the regal. I cannot believe Has got his way out of this without losing like 20 probes. I think the roaches should have ran straight in and started one-shotting probes. Three roaches is enough. But he saves the ravages. He's going to just run away to the corner of the map with those ravages. Now, that keeps the Overlord alive a little longer. He's got a hatchery, but can he get down to said hatchery? He's building spores right now because he's like, I need to get rid of this. Oh, oh roach, roach, roach. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. He loses a roach for free. He does save two ravages in the top. They could come back and do a bit of an attack. It's one base cannon battery has with a proxy stargate. He's got a void ray there. Another void ray is coming across to join up with it. Spores are going to come down. He's going to try and break this position. Is Bly? It's not. He's, he's all in on breaking this stargate and doing it soon. But I actually think... I think he loses the hatchery if if Hass gives up this position. Problem for Hass is he doesn't have a Nexus this time. It's not as dominating as it was on Abyssal Reef. Nexus goes down. He realizes he needs that. Hatchery's falling. Cannons are going to fall. Okay, he's going to get rid of this with just three Void Rays out. This is a much better scenario. It would have been way better if he stopped it at just two. But nonetheless, stopping it at just three, this is still not bad for Bly, I think. He can start a hatchery at a similar timing. He's only got three queens, though. He needs a spore in that main right now. Three queens. He's got one transfuse right now. Bly, Bly, you need to transfuse the weak queen. You need to transfuse the weak queen. Ooh, okay. I think he's okay. Oh. Oh, Haas, very ambitious. Does get an overlord. The Ravage has gone in. He's killed both adepts, I think. Yeah, he got both adepts. And he's going to take out this pylon again. So the Ravager counterattack actually does some damage. He takes a hatchery. If he can spread creep, I'd love to see Bly take a third. He's building drones out of those extra lava. He's trying to get a lair, trying to drone up. That pylon will go down. Nice pickoffs here for Bly. He's going to find a cannon greeting him, though. Oh, he can dance around it. Maybe Bile down the probes. The money money hit Bile. Kill three probes. Money hit Bile. Has. Dodge has. Has. You got to dodge. You got to dodge. You got to dodge. Oh, he gets two. Not bad. Not bad. If he can get one more Bile, maybe. But no, the Void Rays take him out. So... Everything stops. There is now three Stargates on two gas, which makes no sense. Has here doing some Florencio maths. He's like, yeah, it was three, two. And I'm like, dude, you need two gases for like one Stargate, bro. And he's like, yeah. So if I have two gases and I can go three Stargates, I'm like, that's not how maths works, mate. You got to count your numbers again. Um, yeah, he's not even going to be able to produce two Void Rays off that. So anyway, we'll see how that one goes. Um, oh, okay. Uh... Ooh. Okay, Void Ray coming down. Trying to chase after the Ravages. The Ravages is going to back on off. Oh, no. This was a really bad move of the Ravages. I mean, it was a smart move. He wanted to just try and sneak in when the Void Rays come to harass him. But but Haas checked for it. He caught the Ravages. And he does kill some of He's killed three Ravages. Make it four. Chunks of Ravager meat go flying across. Stripper booty. Painting the map with the blood of the Ravager. Creep trying to spread over here. That hatch is, is open. He could kill it right now. Haas doesn't know it's there, though. Queens need to move over. He's only got three queens. Three queens loses two, four void rays. Bly's getting knocked back to two base. And he knew this was going to happen. He's already gone and built a hatchery on the left side. Wow, he's actually landing biles on void rays. He's already got a hatchery going down over there. So at least good preparation. Realizes the inevitable is coming. Transfuses the Ravager. He's going pathogen. He's going to go straight infestors here, which is amazing versus void rays. It's also not bad versus phoenix as well. So it's going to be, once again, three Stargates with only one or two operating at any time. I love it. Um, oh my gosh, so he's going to go Infestor versus Phoenix Voider. Queen, Infestor, I would, I would always prefer that comp in a fight, but it's immobile. It's very turtly. You can't really be very aggressive with it. So Bly, I think the big problem for him is his drone count sucks um, at only 40. It's not great for Hass either, but I think Hass is going to have a bit of a smoother... Uh, you know, mobile composition that can move around the map. Now, obviously, he eats fungal. It'll look terrible for him. It'll look great for Bly. You got to watch out here. The Phoenix are coming in behind this. Oh, dude, look at this. So he wants to lure the Queens into the open. And then the Void Rays... Oh, they're baiting. They're baiting so hard. The Phoenix come in. And they're going to grab the Queens away from the Spores. Oh, a killer move by Hass. He says, come and defend the... Don't come and defend the Void Rays, mate. And that's... Oh, my God. The Infestors are out. But now he's already lost his anti-air. I mean, he's gonna, what's he going to do? He's going to fungal the Voids. He's trying to fungal Bile. He actually lands a combo there. Not bad. But he's just got no anti-air. 
There's nothing that shoots up. Bly's trying to make Burrow and Neural right now. Oh my god, he's actually landing Bile Fungal combos, which is kind of sick. His sport has a lot of damage. He's got one fungal left. One fungal in the middle of the void rays. And a bile! Has! Has just lost every single void ray to fungal bile! No way! He gets the hatchery snipe, but he loses every single void ray. No way! That was the last bile! He got a fungal on every single void ray. And the last Ravager bile just kills four void rays like no way <laughs> has is picking up infestors right now and he's that's very important killing those infestors those infestors are even more important than drones because they gather energy so they're gathering value over time having a bunch of spellcasters is a lot like having an extra base mining there's still a spore crawler in there this spore crawler having to work overtime it's going to take out it's like third phoenix maybe a fourth one but the Phoenix are doing damage at a much quicker rate, so it's a good trade for Hass. It's okay to sit in that anti-air if it's just one spore. Oh, this is painful. It's really painful for Blight. It looks like Hass is going to take game six and put himself within one game of taking it. I like that he loses the Void Rays. The man says, I don't even need him, bro. All I need is Phoenix. It's all I need. Spore Forest to the Bezos going box. up for Bly. He's going to try and go for a desperate Roach counterattack. The Phoenix see them. The Roaches quickly turn around and run away. Phoenix going to be able to pick these up. He's like, duh, can you guys go kill 32 probes, please? The Roaches are like, excuse me, sir? They're like, 32 probes. We need you to do that. We're not sure how, but could you achieve that somehow? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. And Haas, he's diving. He's diving the Overlords. He's diving the overlords. Ooh, he's picking up the drones right now. Spores just cleaned up a phoenix on the rally path. It's just too much damage. These phoenix are out of control. And right now, Haas's bigger brother, he's, he's, he's older brother, he's bigger brothering Bly right now. He's just, he's, he's, he's honestly, he's just slapping him in the face. He's pushing him around. Bly's trying to fight back. He's like, I got my roach run by in. Come on, 32 probes. You can do it, boys. You can do it. He gets, he gets not, oh, he didn't kill one. He didn't, no, no, he didn't. Oh, he got one. He got one, two, three, four. Oh, the ones in the main. They're doing good. Okay, okay, 32. Come on, 32, six, seven. And a burrow. Very cute. He's rebuilding 13 drones. Remember, Bly will never leave the game until the fat infester sings. And right now, his fat infester is not singing. It's cowering in the fetal position, underground, going, no, I'm Phoenix, no, I'm Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix. And uh, these roaches are in a similar thing going, I hope he's not building any detection. Let's just hope he just be, stay silent. If, if, if they, he'll forget you here. I'm sure they have better things to, ah, shit. Ah, shit. Those roaches get taken out. The Phoenix just tear him out of the ground and say, no, no, no. And then uh, Haas says, it's time to do a gateway transition. I'm going to make seven gateways. Also, I don't have a Twilight Council. Is he going to make Mass Slow Zealot just because he's like, Bly, can you leave the game? I think he might be about to do a Bly get out of the game move, guys. I think Hass is preparing a leave. I think he's like, hmm, what will make him know he should get out of this game even more than a Mana Mule? I don't have Mana Mules as Protoss. Slow Zealot transition, Slow Stalker. Is it going to be Mass Sentry? Hass has 1,200 cast. I mean, he's like, okay, we'll, we'll dive in here. We'll kill literally everything. I think he's going to go Mass Sentry, guys. It's going to be Mass Sentry. He's going double forge. Even more. Oh, he's, he's remembered a Twilight. It's a Depths. He's making a Depths. That's still a very troll unit for this stage. There's no reason to make a Depths right now. I guess you could argue there's literally nothing to defend them. I guess. I guess if, if you don't have upgrades, yeah, you might as well actually make a Depths. Why not? He's like, well, you have nothing that kills anything. All you have is Spores. Spores can't defend a Depths. The Phoenix still just ravaging. The Adepts are here. Bly is the guy who honestly can he, he just gets he, he's a punching bag man he, he does not care a lot of players like ah it hurts ah it hurts Bly's just like huh i wonder if i can get up some infestors and land some fungals that could maybe win me the game like where anyone else goes i'm dead i'm screwed oh no Bly just has a smile on his face and he's like yeah probably have like a 0.3 percent chance of winning this game um 0 0.8 if Hass is a little drunk but this is not parting so that's kind of unlikely um, let's make infestors and look for good fungals. That'll be fun. 
And that's exactly what Bly tends to do, my friendos. As a uh, house right now, I'm, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure he's enjoying this. I don't think he... He's like, dude, I, I like running Phoenix around a defenseless Zerg base. Butchering. Butchering. This is this is fun, dude. This is like a, a fox got into the bloody chicken pen, you know? The, the, the chickens are getting torn to pieces right now. The fox is gleeful. Oh! Take that! Your Phoenix in mine! Why are you hitting yourself, Hass? Why are you hitting yourself? Hass is just like, dude, whatever. <laughs> Bly's like, take that, bigger brother. Why are you hitting yourself? Hass <laughs> like, I can just run away, idiot. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> Uh, the drones burrowed to avoid death. They're like, cool, we can go back to mining. It's fine, I'm still on three base. You're on 33 drones. Hass has literally 90 probes. Hass is like, it's time to make cannons and batteries. I think at this point, Hass wants to not just defeat him, he wants to take his soul. This has been, for anyone just tuning in, I'm seeing a lot of new viewers in the chat, they're like, is this what the whole series means? No! No, he's been much closer yeah it's cheesy but it's been back and forth madness the last few minutes of this game is has just leisurely chopping bly to pieces and bly's just like i'm gonna keep fighting i'm not dead i'm not gonna tap bro it's, it's like what are you doing man what are you doing bro uh has here having a bit of a party the roaches are like oh we killed a lot of economy there four probes out of 90 uh, I don't know the maths on that. I want to say it's roughly 3.6%, uh, 4.6% of Hass's economy just went down. So pretty, pretty effective. Um, oh, he's going after the, the investors, ripping up some slugs out of the ground. The mass non-blink stalker finally has blink complete. And this is where Hass is going to use what we call very tactical strategic blinks. Wait for it, guys. You can see when, it, when, when Hass is in a situation like this, he doesn't take the win for granted as slow Zerglings pop out of Bly's economy. Haas is very focused on making sure he uses the best blink micro possible. Just wait for it, guys. He's going to do what we call a patience. A patience is where you blunk your army on your opponent's face. So at some point, he's going to take them. He's going to press blink, and he's probably not even going to click on his screen. He's probably going to go to the minimap and just, like, blink in a random direction. But no, wait, wait, sorry. Haas has decided it would be funnier to clump his units as much as possible. A move them. Let's go to Haas's camera here. We're on Haas's camera. He's like, okay, I guess I'll make some more stalkers then. Bly is going to tap out of this one. Um, his nose is broken in three places. Uh, and Hass there is like, oh, you're going to GG? He looks up. We're like, why is Hass wearing a lab coat? He's literally removing the kidneys from Bly's body while Bly is still standing there like, I'm not down, bro. I'm not down. Hass just took one of your kidneys. Dude, throw the towel in. Pass, leading 6-5. to five. He is one game from sealing this best of 13. All right, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out, guys. I appreciate the love. Is NASL Sound Guys still a thing? Guys, there was an Age of Empires tournament the other week. The Wallolo tournament. The first day or two had a lot of technical issues. The chat was filled with NASL Sound Guy. It doesn't matter where you are. I bet the people saying it don't even know who the NASL Sound Guy was or where the meme came from. It's just a Twitch meme at this point. What? Guys, sorry. Uh, okay, we, okay, guys, we're going to Old Arena. One more game. Have I got the scoreboard wrong, by the way? Best of 13. Isn't it 6-5, six, six, isn't it? Sorry, guys. Um, it's actually gold on an island, says Bly. <laughs> Remembering, we are on Old Arena. Haas only needs ma one more game to get the seven wins to win the best of 13. His opponent, Bly, is doing a one-base Ravager Rush. This is Bly. Now, has Bly forgotten? This is blockable by one pylon. One pylon, guys. Uh, if Hass sees this, if I was him, I would quickly pylon block here, and then I would run back and pylon block here just to buy time for myself. <laughs> it's worth. He sees there's no expand. He's going to get in. Oh, no. He sees the roach horn. Bly, I don't think this is going to work, bro. Bly bringing out his cheesiest tactics at this point deep into the series. Hass is like, are you kidding, bro? You think that's going to work on me? Oh, come on, Hass. Do the TLO wall off. Show us the TLO wall off. It's the best thing of this on this map, bro. All right, so he's going to go Zealot into Stalker. If he can just get a battery or two up on the high ground, I think he's fine. It looks like he's planning to give up his ramp with two pylons back there. He'll build his Stargate back here, I guess. That's interesting. Um, an Adept, not a Stalker. I think that's, that's the wrong unit to build, isn't it? That's a weird choice. He's going to build uh, an extra pylon, an extra battery. 
And an extra gateway. He's got to build stalkers, I believe, to make this hold work. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's got a stalker on the way. Now, this is one base where I have Zerg versus Terran all in. This shouldn't work here, but it's all arena. It takes six seconds to walk across this map. This is meant to hit at three minutes. It's going to hit at like 242. It's literally a six. This is what happens. This is like, uh, like, hey, how about a map where you're living in the basement of your opponent's house? And you're like, what? What's the map? Can, can you, sorry, can you can you state the map the map philosophy again? They're like, yeah, we want it to feel like like your opponent is your your friend that lives in your basement. I'm like, what? It's the most ridiculous map ever. They're like, yeah, we want you to he he's there and you're there. So we can like come over and take you cereal whenever he wants. Like he's Kramer and you're Jerry. And you're like, <laughs> why? Why? Well, I, the thing is, in this case, Jerry is paranoid and seems to have put a padlock on the door. I don't know if Kramer's going to get in to take the cereal. But why? Trying to be as wacky and zany as he can to get in there. I don't think he's going to find a way in, mate. Battery overcharge and stalkers. Bly's like, dude, this build used to be a free win. House is like, I'm sorry, have you heard about our lord and savior, the shield battery? Bly's like, well, that's not friggin' fair, is it? House is like, you know, I could have built a mothership core in the old days and it would have held this as well. Belai is like, yeah, I guess that actually was more bullshit. If you think about it, it was a floating testicle that shot lasers, could overcharge pylons, put down time warps, scout everything with its 14 vision range, and was probably the most unfair unit in the game. Haas holds on, defends, drops a nexus, and he's going to get an overlord and a ravager kill as well. I like how it feels like just like a wet sack getting kicked in the sound when a ravager dies as just this like <coughs> not, not 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 the last bit <coughs> sorry i'm not very good with me mouth noises right now guys um we'll try and we'll try and work on that and get back to you guys roaches and lings on the way to defend so it's probably going to be round two of roach zergling all in but Hass with a five stalker counter attack says oh you try to take my cereal he kicks in kramer's door and says how about i take what you have he looks around and he finds a rather empty apartment he does find one packet of hot dogs in the fridge that went off in November of 1994. Uh, he's going to take it anyway and throw it in the garbage. He's now going to walk into the bedroom and see what else Kramer has uh, stocked up in there. Jerry a little disgusted right now by the state of the apartment. Bly, aka Kramer, on the other hand, is... Uh, he's... he's um, I don't know. He's doing his thing. We're not really sure what he does in life or how he pays his rent. Let's be real. You're looking at him and his lifestyle and what he does and says, and you're like, how does this character make sense? Like, who pays for his apartment? He doesn't have a job. Like, it doesn't make any... You're like, what? Who... This guy's insane. Uh, he's going to go for... A, okay, he's going to... He buys a new packet of hot dogs and puts them in the fridge. And he says, uh, the other ones were aging, Jerry. These ones are going to be really tasty 14 years from now when they've expired. Uh, anyways... Stalker's there having a good time. He's got Blink on the way. One, two, three, two gateways. And he's got layers of shield batteries stretching down to the natural. <laughs> this is an Olrena game, everybody. Welcome to Olrena. Uh, I love that as the games have gone on, they've gotten a little sloppy. I think Whirlwind may have been the peak matchup between these two. And after that, it's almost like we cross the border of playing adaptive styles on maps you haven't played in years and making crazy games and it's turned into an utter shit show from there where house has devolved to his purest form which appears to be i make blink stalkers and bly has devolved to i make ravager and at this point it's, he's setting up a, a little line of ravages and he's like all right guys we just have to hold this bridge each of you i want you to channel gandalf this is your pep talk okay your gandalf that's they're the balrogs you're going to hold this choke point. Uh, boss, have you considered that in Lord of the Rings, the Balrog couldn't just teleport across the fucking bridge and that's why it worked? I'm not so sure it's going to work against a bunch of blink stalkers, boss. Uh, Bly says, hold your ground. Come on, stamp down your foot and say you shall not. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, shit. I didn't really think that one through. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. And <laughs> takes the seven to five. He wins. With a beautiful, beautiful Balrog-style victory there. And uh, going in and trying to steal the cereal does not work for Bly. GG, well played. 7-5 victory. What a fantastic cheese down.